Sugar is essentially the lifeblood of any amusement park, but high-end, classically trained pastry chefs? Not usually. But then came Amarettes, the under-the-radar French patisserie in Disney Springs serving stunning confectionery creations. This cake shop, which opened last year, has gathered top pastry talent from around the world to create unparalleled desserts and character-themed confections, including this sugary masterpiece, the Mickey Mouse Dome Cake. I can eat the whole thing by you myself, You can eat right? the whole thing if you wanted. Thank you for your blessing. You're welcome. So this is our dome cake. There's a lot of texture and movement and a lot of different flavors, so it's not just your ordinary, everyday cake. It's milk chocolate mousse, orange patafui, milk chocolate crisp pearls, and chocolate chiffon cake. And we layer that in a mold. And then once we unmold that, we buttercream the outside until it's this nice, smooth dome. And what we're going to do is just pour this beautiful, red, white chocolate glissage right on top. It's like the movie Carrie, but delicious. It's delicious. Here. <laughs> This is our black cocoa butter. Was there, I mean, was there anywhere you could go in Disney World for desserts like this before this no, patisserie opened? No, that's what makes Amaretz so special, is that we really have elevated pastry here at Disney World, and uh, we really enjoy bringing this kind of artistry and fine examples of pastry to life. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab out our cake for you, and you get to pour the second coat. I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely excited to do this. Well, I'm excited to have you do it. I like to think that I can teach anyone to be a cake decorator. So uh, I always say be generous. Start in the middle and just kind of work your way around in a circle and pour as heavy as you like. There you go. Keep going, one more time. Perfect, you did it. Yes. Feel like yeah, a champion yeah. of sugar. Usually Disney cakes tend to be a sheet cake or you know a traditional layer cake. Mm -hmm. It's never something that's this out of the box. I mean, how did the pastry chefs kind of finalize this exact version of it? Well, first and foremost, we wanted to focus on flavor and quality. So there's not going to be layers of cake and chunks of buttercream. It's going to be layers of chiffon cake and mousse and pat de fruit jelly and crispy pearls. So there's a lot of texture and movement in the cake and a lot of different flavors. So it's not just your ordinary everyday cake. Uh, so that's what we looked at first. And then we said, okay, well, we have this really great, beautiful, delicious product on the inside. How can we make it just as beautiful on the outside? And each character has a different flavor. Look at that. It's Mickey. Perfect. That is Mickey. Disney magic. So if you don't really feel up to eat a cake for maybe 13 or 14 people by yourself, they do have smaller pastry options here. First up, we have the 49th and Broadway. It's their version of a New York style cheesecake. On the top, what looks like an egg is actually a lemon curd. You could just put the whole thing in your mouth if you're feeling daring, otherwise. It's extremely good. Next up, we have their Palais Garnier. It is a bit like a tiramisu. It has some espresso flavors in it. I mean, this is extremely elegant for a dessert. It's named after an opera hall in Paris. We Espresso flavor is definitely coming through. It's nice that the chocolate is a good complement to the rest of the cake. It doesn't overpower it at all. It's really a delight. This is what I've been waiting for. It is a Mickey Mousse. It's a tiny version of the cake that we had earlier. As someone who has eaten every Mickey-shaped food that exists, this might be my favorite. It's so creamy, sweet, but not overwhelming in the way that sometimes cakes can be but not too sweet. It's, it's like the perfect density. I never thought a mouse would taste good. Mice taste pretty good. Um, I'm covered in cake, which is my favorite style to be sporting. To see all the other food I shoved in my face at Walt Disney World, click here. Uncle Cruz Skipper Canteen has brought a very aggressive menu to the park. 